foot ladder, the first one we're going to do is just a run through, just going to run through every step. Okay. Next one we do is two footed hops. Two feet in each square. Go ahead, Kyle. Again, just for working for a little bit of balance and working for quickness on their feet. The next drill that we're going to do is we're just going to try to take our right foot and dip it in each square. Right foot, dip it in all the way down. The drill that we do off of that is just send two guys down the left side, dip the left leg in each square. The next drill that we do is what we call the icky shuffle, where we try to put one foot in the square, bring both feet back out. Good. Good. And again, these drills are all predicated around the idea of moving your feet at 100%, trying to move your feet in quick bursts, and everything we're trying to do in the agility is quality and for short periods of time. This next drill is, is for the more advanced uh, agility person on your team where they're going to do the icky shovels, but they're going to do them backwards. Go ahead, Kyle. Okay, and what you can see is that if you're creative as a coach, you can try to work in all different types of drills. There's many more than what we're showing you here. We're just trying to show you that the idea is that you have to work your kids' feet if you expect the feet to move in the infield. If you don't want them to move, then, uh, then you shouldn't be working on the agility drills. But it, it's, it's my intention to show you how important the feet are before the day's over. And the other videos we've created uh, through championship videos, they're going to be predicated around the idea of fundamentals. They're going to be predicated around the idea that you've got to move your feet to get your feet in position to make the plays. This one is called slaloms. Good. This is called in, in, out, out. <laughs> 